Well, honors education at Mississippi State goes back to 1968. Uh, the change to an honors college in 2006 uh, was a momentous occasion, uh, an occasion to be a residential honors college as well because uh, at that time we were moved into Griffiths Hall, uh, which is a multi-purpose residence hall that has classrooms, office spaces, computer lab, as well as uh, residence space. We're one of the few residential honors colleges in the nation, uh, and we also believe that we have a distinctive curriculum called the Cursus Honorum. Uh, we offer honors courses at every level that uh, show pedagogical innovation, uh, some dating all the way back to the Middle Ages, some engaging in modern interdisciplinary uh, teaching and research. Um, we also have funded study abroad, funded undergraduate research opportunities, uh, a traditional honor student thesis and a very rigorous honors thesis defense. So we've got all of the parts and pieces of, of the well-developed honors programs in colleges in the nation, um, but we have them all in one beautiful package. Of course, honors colleges and honors programs are more than just rigorous courses, although our courses are. Um, they are special topics, they are innovative, they are once in a lifetime opportunities to take courses with professors doing things that they love to do, that they're experts on. Uh, an honors college also offers opportunities that other students don't have to have funded study uh, uh, around the, the world, to have undergraduate research experiences paid for in the summertime on campus but also across the country in labs uh, with other professors as well. Uh, there are many, many benefits for being in the Honors College beyond just the courses that are more difficult in priority registration. I was able to take classes here on um, the, the Middle East and, and Shakespeare and actually delve into those sorts of courses in humanities and that gave me, uh, I guess, a better insight into who I am and how I think and how I feel and how I view the world. Honors College for me was a way to get into, to have intimate conversations with professors like Dr. Snyder, who's the Dean of the Honors College, who I would have thought that would be very hard to have access to, but through the Honors College, I was able to literally just go into the Shackles Honors College and talk to Tammy, who works the front desk, and just say, hey, is Dr. Snyder free right now? And she would go back and he'd say, yeah, he's free. And we would just have conversations about C.S. Lewis, or he'd teach me something about medieval literature I, I didn't know about, or we would talk about all these different things. And I think it was just that, that access to him and other professors through the Honors College that made it very, very worthwhile and unique from my uh, general experience. You know, in the Honors College, our goal is for a strong general education, preparing students for future life, to be free citizens of a republic, to prepare for professional life or graduate school. But undergraduate research provides that deep dive it's often the only place where a student sees how things that they learned in different classes actually fit together in a comprehensive and unified intellectual whole. And what's cool about it is that these students are pushing the frontiers. Of the last seven years, the Honors College has produced a Rhodes Scholar, um, two Trumans, four Goldwater Scholars, um, PPIA, Public Policy and International Affairs Scholars, going to Princeton, to Minnesota. Um, we've had finalists for the Rhodes Scholarship. So yeah, we've been really successful kind of amplifying the student experience in Mississippi State. So one of the things that uh, I was very interested in doing as an undergraduate that I knew that the Shackles Honors College was very good at helping students do is to study abroad. Um, but I hadn't really heard of many physics students studying abroad and so I was a little discouraged that there wouldn't be any possibilities for that. But upon talking to Dr. Anderson and Dean Schneider, they made it clear that if you wanted to study abroad at Oxford, that the possibilities for what you study aren't really constrained. I think one of the things that makes us exceptional is uh, the community that we have established here in the Honors College, uh, in Griffiths, in Nunnally. Uh, we tell our students that we want them to come and be 
part of a community of scholars. And that includes faculty, staff, and of course, uh, their, their peers. I love being able to go to a big SEC football school and still have my small little liberal arts college on the side. Like I get the best of both worlds with the Honors College because I get to know my teachers. I get to know them very well. I get to have that one-on-one -on -one mentorship, but I also get to go to a football game on a Saturday or go to a, a left field lounge rig on, during baseball season or go to our championship women's basketball game. You know, I get to do those same things while I get to have my liberal arts education. The Shackles Honors College never will tell a student that any dream or any goal is impossible. Instead, they just offer the resources to help you get there. But my goal is to have students come to my office early on in their career where I can kind of introduce them to the big opportunities but also provide mentorship along the way as they develop their academic and leadership interests. And it's not just titles and, and whatnot, it's, it's true experiences. I've connected with people all over the world because of the, the intimate connections I've made here at the Shackles Honors College. I was not aware of the Rose Scholarship before I came to Mississippi State. And so yeah, I mean I've seen I've seen different parts of America and I've also lived abroad all Mississippi State. I think that for Mississippi State you can get anywhere.